Hello guys, today I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the plugin secure settings. I got a lot of questions about the lock screen and wake up device. Those may be beginners elements, but those are very important and handy ones. So when you download secure settings, you find that in your apps manager. Let's go it. Secure settings are here so the first thing you see you have four different steps info option helper and compatible apps the most important step is helper the second line you see helper is installed when you open secure setting for the first time helper is not installed so be sure that you click on that and install the helper as well. You have to install helper because you will have more options. So uh, let's go to Tasker. Okay, we're inside Tasker. Let's make a new task. Plus, gonna call it one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So what's the difference between tasker commands and secure commands? So there's a difference, but I prefer to use secure settings. Why? Because also it's divided in categories and sometimes when I open tasker, it doesn't make any sense to me. For example, let's click the plus button, plus. And for example, I'm searching for GPS. GPS, normally, the logic says it would be under Nets. When I click under Nets, you will see Bluetooth, Bluetooth ID, Browse, HTTP, Get, Mobile Data, Mobile Data 2G and 3G, USB Tether, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Net, Wi-Fi Tether, and uh, YMAX. So, normally, in my logic, GPS should be there as well. So, where can you find GPS? You go back. You can use a filter at the bottom, or a GPS is in MISC. So, when you click on that, you will find get location and GPS. That's not so logic for me. So, excuse me, but this time, I'm gonna talk about secure settings. So let's get started. Let's make a new profile. And what do we want to do? Um, for example, let's make a profile to unlock our screen when I connect it to my Wi Fi. That's a very easy one, simple, but so you will understand also secure settings that's quite easy let's do it so we have only one task one action and that is unlock our screen so when we click on the plus button plus button then we go to plugin of course then secure settings secure settings is here and then we can edit it so when you open secure settings you have five categories the first category is actions the second category are development admin actions the third is root actions so be sure if you are rooted or not look at that uh, the fourth is helper actions do you remember when I said before when you install secure settings you have to enable or install helper otherwise you will miss those actions accessibility service airplane mode airplane mode reuse data roaming phone size GPS input method local location service lock screen owner info stay awake while charging USB debugging a Wi-Fi sleep policy that's a lot of actions you otherwise would miss and then the custom ROM actions is LTE so that's what we have in secure settings the thing we need is the key guard off 
our lock screen off that's at the top the third one key guard here key guard let's select that and we can say key guard on or off in our profile it should be off when we are connected to a certain Wi-Fi network so we check off when we check off you have also another command run in the background or no notification what does it do when you trigger that action normally it would give you a notification in your notification bar so you can choose it if you want it or not in my case I don't want that because I have a lot in my notification bar so I check that and say earn in the background when you are finished be sure you have to click on the save button so our first action is done let's go back back and I gonna rename it long press the A and lock my screen and lock my screen that's my first action then we make a copy of that task and change the action inside so let's copy it long press three dots above and clone and we say lock my screen okay open the task secure settings edit edit and we say back on save go back go back so at this point we have two tasks unlock my screen and lock my screen so the only thing we need is a trigger or a context let's go to the profiles profiles and we make a new profile plus we say uh, states then we say nets then uh, wifi connected and the wifi connected is in my case uh, wifi uh, underscore er2 of course you can search for your SSID by using the glass when we have done that go back go back and when we are connected my screen must be unlocked so we go down down go to ST oh unlock my screen yes so what does it do when we are connected to Wi-Fi DR2 uh, my screen will be unlocked then we have to add an action task by long pressing the enter task and we choose for add exit task click on that and we use lock my screen so what does it do when when we are connected to Wi-Fi DR2 uh, unlock my screen otherwise lock my screen so let's try it let's go back that's my home screen so when I put my screen off and I put my screen on back you see my screen doesn't use any lock screen so it's fine let's try another thing so you see now I'm connected to Wi-Fi DR2 no problem when I disconnect from that Wi-Fi and select Wi-Fi and for example mobile data is on go back you will see at the top 
that's changing. I'm sorry, my connection is here very poor at this moment. As you see, Wi-Fi is disabled. So when I put my screen off and put my screen back on, you will see my screen is locked by using the swipe gesture. So you see it will work. So that's one was very easy. Okay, let's do another one. The next one will be wake up my device when my screen is off. That's also a very easy one. So let's say a command. I gonna use auto voice recognize for that. So let's do it. Let's make a new profile plus states plugin. And I'm gonna use auto voice recognize and I'm gonna say uh, edits even behavior command filter and I'm gonna use screen on screen on okay gonna use also use rejects and that's all for that going go back and we make a new proof uh, and we make a new task and we gonna make it we give it a name, new task, uh, screen, on, okay, screen on, plus, we're gonna use plugin, secure settings, and we're gonna edit that. And we're gonna use for now, so we're gonna use wake device, and wake device will be screen and keyboard lights on. One second, you can choose another, you can choose one second, two seconds, three seconds, etc. etc. For example, I'm gonna use one second for testing, we save it, and we go back. So we go back. We go back and I gonna enable auto voice recognize continuously so I gonna check that here auto voice is started okay auto voice is started so let's try it let's put our screen off okay my screen is now off when I see screen on You will see my uh, screen is on. I use auto voice to put my screen on. That's a very easy one. So if you want to use that by auto voice, you have to use auto voice continuous. But it's a disadvantage because it will drain your battery a lot when auto voice is continuous listening to your voice. So I suggest don't use it. Uh, auto voice continuous only in certain situations. When do I use that? For example, when you are cooking, you can't touch your phone, you can talk to your phone. That's an example when I use that. So those were very two easy examples of secure settings. Of course, you have a lot of lot of more options. With secure settings, I prefer it above the normal tasker commands because it works better for me, in my opinion, for me, uh, than the normal commands. I hope you like it. It was a very easy tutorial. So try it. So if you have any problems, just ask and, and I can see what I can do. Maybe I can help you, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's depending on the phone, maybe it's depending on the Android version you have. Those are all different situations. So, on my phone, everything works perfect. I didn't have any problem. Also, I have a beta version of uh, Tasker. 
you can find your version here when you click on tasker you're gonna open it settings button at the left corner the software button you look to info and then you click on more and then about and credits you can find out which version you have I have a 4.2b 2m so maybe you have another version um, this works also for me the other version worked also for me so no problem okay thank you